Hey guys, and welcome back to The Level Up. This is episode number 12, and as always, I'm going to introduce the episode with a little bit of a recap on my last sort of week itself, and a little bit more depth as well, potentially, and just because this episode is going to go on YouTube as well as the member site, so I'm going to go a little bit into sort of what I've gone through a tad in some of the other updates with regards to what the plan is for next year. So, in general, this week has been okay. I wouldn't describe it as great or amazing. And come into a, a few sort of digestive issues, which I think is down to just having a stomach bug, um, which has now sort of masters itself into a cold as well, which I think I may be caught off of Danny. Uh, so, a little bit sick at the moment, uh, which I'll take into perspective for the next couple of training sessions in terms of whether I, I can or can't train. Um, obviously, if it, if it does tend to lead down the route of being more of a, a stomach bug than a, than a sort of an upper respiratory tract issue, then the likelihood of, of taking time off training is, is a little bit higher. Um, just because if you're not digesting food, you're not going to be able to train properly or recover properly from the session that you do. So uh, the most likely scenario is if this does continue, um, I'll have to take uh, some time off, uh, some days off potentially uh, next week, which is maybe going to be helpful just because obviously it's going to be Christmas, but the gym is open as normal. Um, so in reality, uh, I would like to train as normal next week, uh, but we will see. So the, the week itself in terms of when, I, when I've gotten into the gym has actually been really, really good, which is surprising. And probably one of the topics I want to cover this week is like, even when sometimes your variables aren't perfect, Sometimes you can end up having just mint sessions. I think a lot of the time we, you know, I definitely do this. I put a lot of pressure on myself. And when I feel particularly good, like I know that I've nailed every variable. Like my sleep's good. My food's good. I feel fresh. Um, my stress is low. Sometimes I'm like, well, all the variables are in line. So this has to be a good session. And sometimes it's just not there. And I've had, I've had quite a few of those sessions somewhat recently where, I've actually felt really, really mint, like everything's felt really, really good and, and the numbers have just not been there, so it's just not moved. Um, sometimes it can be just down to your environment, like whether there's certain people in the gym that motivate you. Obviously, sessions that I've had this week have been lucky to train with some really, really cool people. Session you're going to see in this video is the one with Caitlin, which was probably the best session of the week. Um, just, you know, training with, with someone who's very sort of like-minded. Obviously, Caitlin's a lot younger than myself, but incredibly like-minded um, and, and very sort of determined and just a great training partner in the sense that she just cracked on with her own session. Um, and training with people like that, I got to train with Jermaine, my client, and you know, when I train with Danny, it's the same thing. It's just very good sessions all the time. Is you, you don't want to sort of like let up or disappoint when you're amongst people like that. Um, so training partners make a big, big difference in my opinion. When you're when you're at times in which maybe variables aren't one hundred percent, having a training partner, someone there to to tell you to push, is uh, definitely beneficial. In terms of body weight, um, again, I, I've been lucky enough to just, just about get my food in. It's not been easy. It's definitely not been the best week of getting in food, and my appetite has been absolute trash, like really, really, really bad. And like because of the digestive issues um, and the stomach bug, I've been almost waking up. Luckily, this morning was okay, but I've been almost waking up quite nauseous. I was starting to get a little bit concerned that it could be something like acid reflux, um, but I think generally it's just me being a little bit more stressed out and also just, just the fact that I have a little bit of a bug. So it will pass in time, but I'm most certainly looking forward to dropping calories. Uh, like I'll, I'll probably look back at this video when I'm all the way dieted down next year and I'll laugh and I'll think, like, I wish I could have all of those calories to play with again because I'd do this or I'd do that. And right now, all I can think is like I'd prefer just to like just not eat them at all, like not eat anything. I could quite easily go a whole day without not eating eating anything, like I'm just completely nothing. So uh, so yeah, it's, it's it's a bit it's a bit frustrating to be honest because it would be nice at this stage to have a really good appetite, and it's also a bit frustrating because right now, if I was in this position and I had more time in the off season and I wasn't starting prep in February, I'd be mini cutting. There's no point in mini cutting when I've only got four weeks left of the off season. So it's like a case of eating maintenance calories, which are quite high, and even maintenance calories are hard to get in. So it's a bit of a catch twenty two. But 
I will, you know, there's a lot worse things that can happen in life than this, so I'm going to uh, take the rest of the uh, month and, and get the food in as best as possible. When the illness passed, it will be a lot easier for sure, because I was getting into actually a really, really good groove before I picked up this stomach bug um, and cold. So, yeah, but this is just almost to show that there are weeks in uh, in my life as well that, that aren't the best, you know. In terms of coaching and sort of like business side of things, it's all good. Uh, luckily uh, enough, I've, I've had uh, a lot of my clients or my client retention has been very, very good this year. So really not had many drop offs at all. Um, I'll obviously, you know, I've expected a few to, to drop off and a few did post show and a few did sort of at the end of this year. But I've had uh, very sort of, you know, great position in terms of my inquiries. And I've been very lucky to have a lot of those and um, those are coming through nicely. And I've got a really cool team set up for 2020 in terms of just the right balance between people who are in off seasons and people who are wanting to get on stage. Because ultimately, like, I can't have a massive amount of people stepping on stage. It would be inconvenient for myself. It would be inconvenient for um, just the whole the journey for me to get on stage, but also their journey to get on stage. Uh, I think it would be compromised, uh, their journey and my journey at the same time. So it just wouldn't be a good setup. But anyway, so yeah, that's pretty much everything wrapped up. Luckily enough, sleep's still good. Um, like I said, stress is a little higher, but it's it's, it's manageable. I'm not meditating as much as I was, which is probably an issue, and I should be doing that again. But when I was meditating, my routine was like wake up, shower, get ready, go downstairs, meditate five minutes. And right now, it's impossible. Well, it's not impossible, but it's definitely not as possible as it was before we had Barney. So. Uh, having a dog or a puppy at least definitely changes the game completely because you go downstairs and you've got to tend to a dog first thing in the morning. So, But the good thing is it encourages me to get outside straight away, not going for a walk because you can't walk, yeah? Can't walk. <laughs> can't go for a walk, yeah? Um, but going sort of straight outside to sort of let him out um, is, is good. It gets me sort of like some fresh air straight away. So I do leave the house definitely more frequently than I was doing when uh, when I didn't have a dog, which is good. So yeah, steps are, are very low, activity is very low. I'm still not doing any sort of a formal cardio at the moment, which is showing in my gym sessions for sure. Like both, like it's, it's multifaceted, so there's benefit. I'm definitely more powerful in my gym sessions and my performance is the best ever and my recovery is great, but I'm really like out of breath and I'm unfit in the gym. So I'm, I'm looking forward to having some in, which will prove to be a cardiovascular benefit. Because right, like right now, it's just, I don't like feeling gassed after doing like a, a chest supported row. Like after doing the prime rows, like with, with Caitlin, because of the way it presses down on your chest. Um, and the fact that I am carrying a more, more body fat, it's really hard to recover from those sets, which is just not, not good. And my back off sets are, are taking big hits as well, which is something I've noticed big time in competitors, when they start to diet down, their back offsets just fly up because of that enhanced aerobic capacity and potentially tapping into, you know, those uh, muscle fibers which are, are used when you train for fitness or aerobic capacity um, as opposed to just all anaerobic work, which is what I'm doing currently. So yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Anyway, about 10 minutes of an update on myself. So obviously if you have any questions guys about or where I'm at, then obviously just ask. Um, food wise in terms of calories I know a lot of people are interested in that but training days are about 4,000 to maintain at the moment and non-training days I can maintain on about 3-3 three, three. Um, so that shows pretty much how much more calories I burn when I'm at the gym because I do a lot more steps when I go to the gym and I do obviously a lot more energy expenditure so there is about a 700 calorie difference in my training to non-training days because otherwise it would just uh, like I would just be overeating on a non-training day to for the goal of maintenance. So yeah, like I said, guys, enjoy the the clips that follow. This I'm just going to keep it raw, raw with the workout footage. Um, and I've also put the rep ranges and the sets in the bottom left corner. So if you are interested in the workout itself and wanting to try it out, then of course it's all in the bottom hand uh, bottom hand corner. All right, I will speak to you guys very soon. Um, if you are interested in signing up for the site, then obviously just head to the link in the in the sort of description box over here and there's plenty of content coming on there of course next year with the prep starting it's going to be a pretty cool place to be so yeah guys i'm excited to share the journey and i'll speak to you soon cheers
Come on, lots of energy into this. Here we go. Yes, good. Very tight. Good. Yes, good, that's it. That's it, good, so keep thinking up. Lovely, come on. Come on. Big air. Yes, good, come on. Now we go. Big one. Come on, come on. Up, 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 up. Yes, good. Come on. Ooh. Yes. Come on. Big back, come on. Oh. Oh. Come on. Oh. Come on.
Here we go, nine perfect reps. Yes, good. Yes. That's perfect, come on. Good. Come on. Come on. Good, come on, big two. Good, come on, drag the elbow. Trust it, trust it, come on. Good effort. Come on, it's match. Yes. Beautiful rep, come on. Yeah, that is so locked in, come on. Come on. Flying, come on. Yes. That's still good. Come on. Lock in. Trust it, trust it. Yes. Yes. Beautiful. Come on. Come on. Yes. That's good. Come on. Trust it. Yes. Trust. Come on. Good stretch. Good. Think just about bringing your upper arm down. That's it. Upper arm down. There you go. Keep tension on. That's it, good. Keep tension, keep tension, keep tension. Upper arm down, down, down. Good, go again. Upper arm down, 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 down. Yeah, good. Drag up, drag up, drag up, drag up, drag up, nice. Lovely. Yeah. That's good. Good, good. Perfect. Yes. 
They're perfect wraps them. Come on. Sick. Yes. My butter. Come on. Yeah, yeah. Good. Lovely. Yep, 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 yep. 